to make the shower steamers, I will be using uh, baking soda, citric acid, and cornstarch. Uh, to my mixture, I will also be adding uh, polysorbate 80. This will allow for everything to uh, emulsify and drain nicely um, down the drain. Um, I will also be adding 91% alcohol to add moisture to the, the batter um, that will ev uh, eventually evaporate so uh, it will make it for a hard um, product. Um, I will also be using uh, dentitric salt. In the dentitric salt I will be adding my, um, my scents. Uh, for the scents uh, the, re the reason I use dentitric salt is because this salt um, acts like a sponge and sucks in the sucks in the scent. And because I am using just essential oils, as you may know, essential oils do fade over time. Uh, so this will help uh, retain the the scent. So for essential oils, um, I will be using uh, wintergreen. Uh, and this smells like uh, spearmint. So it's very, very nice um, scent. I will also be using uh, peppermint. And my blend will also include um, Tangerine Five Fold by uh, New Directions. Okay, so in this bowl, I have pre-mixed uh, one cup of baking soda, a half a cup of citric acid, one fourth cup of cornstarch. And in this small container, I have added two tablespoons of dentritic, dentritic salt. It's kind of a tongue twister, dentritic. And to this, um, I will be adding my essential oil blend. So my essential oil blend is 0.3 ounces of wintergreen, 0.2 ounces of peppermint, and 0.5 ounces of tangerine fivefold. Um, so altogether, it's one ounce of essential oils. And this is pretty high and concentrated because you want it to rise up um, when you're taking a shower. So I add this to my dentitric salt, which is going to suck up all the essential oils like a sponge. And it'll assist in uh, helping not fade the scent for as long as possible. Also to help um, keep the scent, uh, once it dries after 24 hours, I would say, um, make sure that you wrap your shower steamers. Um, you seal them. So here I want to mix my essential oils with the salt and I just want to mix them uh, very well. Make sure everything is uh, incorporated. Wow this smells so good. Y'all you don't even know. Um, so spearmint and citrus are just smell amazing. Um, I did use peppermint in this uh, blend uh, because I didn't want to use up all my spearmint to be honest. Uh, my original formula was just uh, spearmint and citrus and uh, I'm running out of spearmint, so I decided to put 0.2 ounces of peppermint. But I'm really glad I did. It's wow, it just smells so good. I'm gonna have to use this blend for like a lotion or something. It's just amazing. You know, I have a feeling that I should add a little bit more than titric salt. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Um, and I'll update the formula on the description box. So we originally added two tablespoons of dentitric salt. Let's go ahead and add one more. Spread it out. Mm. 
And they're much better. Much, much better. Okay, so we will be adding three tablespoons of dentitric salt. Very nice. Okay. Do you want it? You want it to all incorporate so the salt um, retains that scent. That's the goal here. Okay, in this mixture, I have one cup of baking soda and one fourth cup of cornstarch. We have not added the citric acid because we're going to add all our liquids first and the citric acid will come in last. Okay, so we have mixed our dentitric salt. So now, so now we will be adding our dentitric salt with the essential oil mixture. See how that, I, I could have probably even added a little more dentitric salt, but that's okay. It's not, it's not a huge difference. So I think three tablespoons is enough. Um, <laughs> this stuff smells so good. I cannot get over how good this smells. Okay. I think I saw Tara Lee make... What did she make recently? I forgot what she made recently. Maybe hand wash or something? Anyway, she made a product where she put spearmint in uh, citrus. And I was like, hey, I want to smell that okay so here we'll mix it in a little bit just incorporate it in now the tangerine did make it a little yellow but I think it's white enough for the the egg but in no reality Eggs can be different colors. You can also use different colors for your eggs. I just didn't feel like making a whole bunch of different batches, different colors. I don't know. I may change my mind. I tend to do that a lot anyway when I'm creating stuff. Okay, and so here we are adding uh, 0.12 ounces of polysorbate 80 and 0.3 ounces of 91% uh, alcohol. You know, and, and the polysorbate 80 kind of gets stuck in here, so I like to just put some of the product in there and then just take it out. Ah, I can smell this all day. Okay. Um, mix it in. And now you want to be very careful on how much moisture you add um, because otherwise they won't dry and that's not something that you want. If you feel like they're too wet, just, just add more, more uh, baking soda. It's no big deal. Or add a little more cornstarch. No big deal. Again, you know, these are shower steamers. You can be uh, very flexible. Okay, so everything is well incorporated. Even my hands feel like really refreshing after touching all that experiment. Okay, now we're adding our citric acid. And this is half a cup of citric acid. You can add it at the same time. It's um, throughout the years I find, um, I have found that it's a lot easier to add the citric acid after at the last step, but I know there's a lot of people out there that do it at the same time. I, I myself have done it at the same time um, when I make bath bombs as well, but I really find that this is a lot easier. Okay, sorry about that. There we go. 
I love this little mica because they come with a little spoon. It's so cute. Um, I'll, I'll uh, link to it in the description box. So pour a little yellow on there. I'm going to leave that open just in case I need more yellow. So this is the yellow that I got. I think it's, it's really cute. A baking sheet that I use just for my crafts. Again, I say this almost every video. Do not use your cooking supplies for your crafts. It's just gross and dangerous. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want to waste my product. So we have to improvise. And um, I did turn off the camera for a little bit. Get this little wet again. So we are going to make flowers. <laughs> I am done trying. So since we're gonna improvise, I need more colors. We're going to make flowers. So I have this little circle here and I have the silicone molds. And I'm just gonna let everything dry in here. I'm hoping it dries. If not, then I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scream. There we go. Trying to make little yellow flowers. That's kind of Easter -y enough, right? Spring, flowers, Easter. I don't know y'all, I'm a little frustrated right now. Okay. But maybe this flower will make me happy again. I'm going to have to transfer some of this powder into a different bucket so I can make different colored flowers. Make sure this guy's in the middle. Because he's the button. You know, and technically I should have made him green. So maybe I'll, I'll make a little bit of green. Okay, so I made a little bit of green. And just so you know, I mean, this happens, you know, it happens. There's been times where you have to throw away product. But that's what I'm trying to avoid here because, you know, so many essential oils and such good products that I'm using here. Okay. There's a little flower. I want to make sure that we're keeping a little button in here. It doesn't matter if you mess up in the middle. No one's going to see that. On a good note, these will last for a while in a shower. Maybe take three showers. You gotta be positive. <laughs> so I tell myself, we must be positive. You know, I'm gonna change my glass because I've been messing with this, so much are falling apart. Pour some here. Okay, so move this guy to the side. I think I just put him put him on the table over here.
Hi, so um, I unmolded um, the flowers. Um, the unmolding wasn't too difficult. Um, it was pretty loose, so I just had to turn it over um, and then they came out. Um, I decided I'm going to paint them just to enhance the aesthetics. Um, so this is what they look like now. Um, I painted one ahead of time because I wanted to make sure I got an idea on how I wanted to paint them. Um, and this is what the yellow one looks like. Um, painted. I, I am going to touch up the green at the end. So let's go ahead and paint the yellow. So what I did here, um, I'm using a bath bomb mold. Um, I like to use these um, to put micas in there. So I put 99% alcohol and then I use the same color um, that I use for the bath bombs. I mean, I'm sorry, for the shower steamers. I keep calling them bath bombs. Um, so I have a fine tip, a fine tip uh, brush and I'm going to paint the petals on there. Put that on there so you all can see. I think they turned out pretty cute actually. Let me get this guy out of the way. So what I've been doing is I start at the button there and go around and dip again and make a petal. And I just color just the first, the bottom of it. And then I just keep going all the way through. Okay, I have rinsed my little mold here and I have added the green with 99% alcohol. Again, it's the same green that I use for the shower steamer. So all I want to do is, I think I may color the whole thing, I'm not sure. I think it'll stand out actually. So I'm going to definitely make the circle as much as I can. Ok, 
Okay, so I don't think that I want to paint him full yet because I kind of want to, I want the, the green uh, mica to show. So I'm just, you know, just doing this. So I'm going to continue with the rest. Okay, there we have it. The big fail uh, turned into nice pretty little spring flowers that we can we can add to our Easter collection. Thank you for watching. See you next time.